It's all about science and the love of it this week in Nashville. Thursday, the Music City Center will be filled with 15,000 science educators and scientists talking about ways to get excited about science. Making it fun is one way. Dr. Carolyn Hayes is the president of the National Science Teachers Association and she is here with some easy and fun experiments parents and kids can do and can make using materials you probably already have at home. Uh, so Dr. Hayes, good to have you with us. Thank I you. am married to an educator and assistant principal here in town and uh, she's told me that over the years that if you can get kids to to do things hands on that's one great way for them to remember and maybe develop a love for things absolutely and that's what I want to show you here today is we want to get those students and those children excited about science mm -hmm. because maybe they'll become scientists in the future so awesome. very important well you've got several things here so I start do. me with this one all right do you remember the lava lamp I do I used to have one all right you can still get them but we're gonna make this lava okay. lamp so into this container I've already prepped this. In the bottom is water. I've added uh, some food coloring into it already. And then the remainder of the container is vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And of course it's less dense and so they stay separated. But we're going to make some action happen and we're going to use an antacid tablet. And so we're both going to do this. So okay. take a couple here. Alrighty. And on the count of three we're going to drop it. And then I want you to tell Same me what you... Same ones or... No, we're going to do two different okay. ones. Are you ready? You do I'm that ready. one, I'll do this one. Go. So let's see what happens. Oh, I like the, yeah, you start to see the bubbles there and the lava moving around. Absolutely. What uh -huh. happens here is the tablet is dissolving, and as it does, it releases a gas. And as it does, notice it's bringing up the colored water from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets to the top, the, the gas is released and it goes back down. So you get that lava lamp. So lots of great things can go on. You can use different sizes. Students may ask, well, what happens if I put the cap on? So there are lots of variations to try at home and mm -hmm. start asking questions. That's now, very important it, for that science. That is, questions are extremely important. So let's All talk right, about this using one, this milk. This one, milk, this is, we have some whole milk in here. This is a little lesson on surface tension. Milk has a lot of fat molecules in it. They like to hold hands very tight. I have put on the top some different colors of food coloring, mm -hmm. less dense, so it's going to sit on the top. But here's where the fun becomes. Okay. Happens. So I've got some dish detergent on the end of this cotton swab, and I'm going to let you drop it in there Just and drop let's it see in. what All happened right. right in the middle. And let's see what happened. Oh, wow. Wow. So what's happening is that the detergent is breaking that bond, the holding hands, mm -hmm. and so the molecules are just flying apart, and we have all kinds of That's action. That's whole milk, but you can do it with different things and oh, try them side by side to see exactly. the differences. Exactly. Try skim milk, chocolate milk, buttermilk, or even take pepper. Mm -hmm. Shake pepper on okay. top of it and see what the action looks like. Awesome. Let's go to the all next right, one here. here we go. We get to wear goggles. <sighs> can so I we, do blue? You can do blue. I'll do the pink ones. So here we go. So in this container, I have already put in hydrogen peroxide, okay. and you can get that at a beauty supply store, and I would recommend that parents pour it in about a half a cup into the bottom. Okay. I've also added some food coloring and a tablespoon of dish detergent. Yes. So in this other little container, I have mixed a package of yeast mm -hmm. and some warm water, and we're going to add it to the container. I'm going to let you do the honors. We'll do this So here. we don't, and let's see what happens. Just all at once? Go. Oh, look at there. <laughs> so we call this the foaming fountain or elephant's toothpaste. Uh -huh. And what happens is the yeast acts as a catalyst, and it breaks apart the hydrogen peroxide. And what you're seeing are all these little oxygen bubbles coming out, and it's lots of fun. Fun, and again, a great way to to work with the kids. Mama, granddads can have fun Absolutely. with the kids. Thank you so very much Thank for being you. with us today. Now you will find more information on how to get the instruction for the experiments that we showed on our website at newschannel5.com. And there's a teacher vendor area over there. You can go out and find out more information Absolutely. from them at the convention Come through Sunday. Us. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you.